Hello everyone, welcome to Veronica Hug. Today I have a baby project for you ready and I want to show you how to do shoes for newborns. I'm using the Wooly Hugs Charity Wool for this project. So this wool, apart from being really cuddly and warm, is great for baby clothing and blankets and similar. You can wash it at 40 degrees and it's called charity because 25 cents of each sold spool goes to a charity organization of my choice. This is, in my case, an organization I have been with for a long time and if you would like to see more details, you can find, of course, more information on my website as well. So it's always a great cause and if you would like to see more, feel free to check that out as well. Then we will be using some knitting needles. I will be using my 3mm ones, but since I work pretty loosely, you might be needing a bit thicker needle, like 3.5 for example. So I'm using the ones that are a bit shorter, and this is from my Wooly Hux collection, so if you're interested in having this one, you can also order it online. You could also use some longer ones as well, so this is pretty much up to you and what you like to use better. The hat I'll show you in another video, so I'll do the shoe in this one. And I already have a half used up spool from another project and I'm gonna use that. So I have here 50 grams and let's see if that's gonna be enough for about three pieces. So it's 50 grams per 100 meters or 110 yards, so it should be enough. So the pair of shoes is definitely gonna be enough, but let's see if we can really do a hat with it as well. So apart from that, I also used some gray here just to make it a bit more interesting. So we start here with the sole of our foot. So that's where the 11 inches start. Nine and 10, 11, So let's do garter stitch now. So let's take the first stitch onto our needle and do the stitches knitwise. And the last one again knitwise. Then turn and again take the first stitch on your needle and again do knit stitches. Turn again, first stitch on the needle and knit stitches after that one. So you see it's pretty simple for now. So also, if you're interested in our Facebook group called Wooly Hugs, you can find a lot of instructions and ideas and projects um, there as well, as well for me as from the users and the people that are members there. So we do crocheting and we do Tunisian crocheting as well as knitting. So whatever you're interested in, feel free to check that out and maybe find some additional 
information and inspiration on there. So we are doing the regular garter stitch. Always take the first stitch onto your needle and the edge stitch we always do in knit stitch. This is important because later that will form our sole edge and you can see here that we have it nice and neat. So that's why we're doing the stitches now on both sides. So on the beginning and the end. So we are doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 11, 12 ribs in the sole. So you can also notice here the edge with the flat start. The back side has the little knots. So we always count, when we count, we always count on the other side. One, two, three, four. And when you count 12 on this side, then I'll show you how to lessen for the toe section. So I have 12 rows, 11 and 12, and now take the edge stitch onto our needle, one knit stitch, and then the following two we do together like this. then three knit stitches and then again two knit stitches together knit wise and then we do the left over two stitches that we have after that the back row goes just like always with knit stitches Now again, two more rows and knit stitches as they are. So here are 14 ribs now total. So let's again do a row with two stitches less. So the first two stitches we do as usual and then two stitches together. Then one knit stitch and two together and the last two knit wise. And then again, the back row we do without any changes. And another regular front row. And again, one regular back row. So you see here now a total of two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen ribs. And now I'll start new stitches from the sides. So I'll start here behind the first side stitch. If 
five. Ten. Fifteen. And now we take the third needle and this fifteenth stitch. So it's aligned with this line and therefore it's already in one of the bottom stitches. Which makes it very logical what we will do. So we are taking new stitches out of the side now or the bottom as you like. Five. nine and take another needle the fourth now and start now here from the side stitches again new stitches five ten Again, 15 stitches and now I have 15 stitches on both of the longer sides and here 9 and 7 stitches on the top front section. This is the outside, so now I'll do a couple of rows of the side. I hope you know what I mean now. So let me show you on this one. So here is where we are working now. So now take your fifth needle and do here. So now here on top, but on its inside. So I'll start with a knit stitch and the following one we take onto our needle with yarn over and then again knit and take onto the needle with yarn over. And we repeat that one more time. Then the stitch with yarn over goes onto the needle and we continue in the same manner. All the way around. Again, start with a knit stitch. And now we have the first row done or round since we are doing rounds now. So let's again start with a knit stitch and then the stitch we did last time with yarn over. Now we will do together with it purl wise. And then again knit stitch. So the stitches from the last row stay again in knit stitch and the ones with the yarn over we are now doing in purl stitches.
So again here purl stitch together with the yarn over. Now we are at the last needle, purl and knit again and keep changing one after another. We are almost done with this row. There we go. Now let's put a marker there so that it's easier to follow later. Now we are again doing knit stitches with yarn over, but the knit stitches we will be doing knit wise. So again, cast off with yarn over and do a knit stitch. Here we start with the cast off and yarn over. Keep doing that throughout the whole round. So we are now again at the end, so now comes again one round with the knit stitches and purl stitches. So the knit stitches from the last row stay knit stitches like it was so far. And the stitches we did with the yarn over, we now do purl wise. So you may notice that it's actually starting to repeat. It's one round with purl stitches and one is with cast off stitches with the yarn over the needle. We are currently in the fourth round or the second where I'm doing the purl stitches and you will continue until you get a total of 10 rounds. So that way you will actually get 5 rounds that have purl stitches and 5 rounds with the yarn over the needle.
So this is what it looks like. You see two times the knit stitches here. So anyway, when we finish the 10 rows, let's meet again. So now I have 10 rounds and you can probably see this, five stitches all together. So the big ones, you see another small one, but the big ones are five total. So I will keep working on the left side now. And I am now here at this section. And now I'll do seven stitches for this section here. Six knit stitches. The last one we move to the following needle and then I do the first two stitches together. Then I turn and now we take a look and we push this piece out and then we get our shape and we are automatically seeing the result. Cast the first stitch off, then do five knit stitches. Then you will again transfer the stitch onto the following needle and that one you will do with the next stitch together knitwise. Turn and cast off the first stitch. Again, five stitches in knit stitch. And the last stitch we again transfer. And do them both purlwise together and turn. Cast off the first stitch and do knit stitches for the next five stitches. And then you will again transfer the stitch and do it together with the following piece. Again, turn and do the same. And turn and now we can see how this is slowly getting its shape so you see it nicely on the other done piece and you get a really nice edge that matches the sole and you again cast off the first stitch and five knit stitches and the last one you will again transfer and do together with the next one in the back row the same but purlwise together until you have just five stitches on each side. So now I have five stitches on each side and in the front seven and in the back as well and now I'll continue again in rounds here on top and I'll continue with the same pattern. Start with one knit and one purl stitch. The 
The following knit stitch we take onto our needle with the yarn over. Then a purl stitch and cast off, purl and cast off. Cast off and purl stitch again, the same thing here, we have a knit stitch. So we go in sideways and do it together with the one next to it. And again, one purl and one cast off. And here we do the stitch with the following one together. Now a purl stitch and the stitch with the yarn over, I will do a knit stitch. And I keep doing purl and knit one after another. Same thing on this side. Here we didn't have a yarn over, if you remember. And now we will continue as always, purl stitch to start and cast off the knit stitches. Same thing here on the front. Now comes again the round with purl and knit again. And you see here the leftover wool of my first spool. So you see that you can actually get a great result with not that much wool. So just as a reminder, I had about 50 grams here. So you may have noticed that I ended the round, now I'm again doing the round with the yarn over.
and now we are again starting with our yarn over and since we only have 24 stitches in each round now it's gonna go real fast And you continue until you have, let's see, 11 rows. So let's see our progress. Eight. So we need three more with the back rows. That's going to be six more total. And then I'll show you how to cast um, how to cast the stitches off and to remain loose while doing it and how to make the optional band. So here is my height now. Now I'll cast the stitches off as loosely as I can. Start with a purl and do a knit stitch and then pull the purl over it. Yarn over, purl stitch and the yarn over with the purl you pull over like this. One knit stitch and cast off. And always yarn over before the purl stitch. Same thing all over. Now here I go into the first stitch, take the thread through and pull through the last stitch. And you can cut the thread off and pull out. Weave in. And now we can take the mark out. This we can also push to the inside and weave in. And now I'll show you how to do the band. I'll do that with my crocheting needle and I'll just need a tiny bit of leftover wool. Take the other color if you are doing multiple. Make a beginning loop out of both of them. Now take care that your one color always stays on top. And then one's blue, one's gray. And continue.
We are at 17 and we need 70 chains total. Here are 60 chains and so that my band stays on the shoe, I'll go here on the back in the middle into the 6th stitch. Pull through both and now continue just like you did for another 60 chains. until 60 cut off and pull out Now here I can go through with my needle and pull the band through. So I'm going through each stitch that's sticking out. Same thing on the other side. I like to make sure that they stick to the shoe because if they don't, it could get out of the shoe and maybe into the baby's mouth or just lost. So I think this way it's easier as well as safer. Cut the threads short and you are done. The length you can also vary, you can make them shorter if you like, but I'll leave them as they are. And an incoming video is on hats for newborns, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Apart from that, you can subscribe to this channel and stay updated with all the videos that I post. And if you like this particular one, you can always shoot a thumbs up. So thanks for watching Veronica Huck. I'll see you in our next project. Until then, have a wonderful day. Bye!